Hello boys and girls, it's Fro from Stereo King. Today we're going to talk about tweeters. So let's do this. So this is just my opinion of tweeters. Obviously this isn't going to be perfect. Not everybody's going to agree. That's okay. I'm not going to cover a bunch of tweeters that weren't used in cars like ribbon tweeters, planner tweeters, stuff like that. I'm not going to cover those. Definition of a tweeter. A person who uses Twitter to update countless people on stupid things they are doing at any given time. Wait, what? Mm. A loudspeaker designed to reproduce high frequency. First on our list, Paper Tweeter. Paper tweeters are generally very flat sounding tweeter. Not a lot of dynamics, not a lot of super high frequencies covered, but they are generally very affordable. Plastic Tweeter. Oh, what's to say about plastic tweeters? Plastic tweeters are super cheap. In my opinion, one of the worst sounding tweeters on the market. But bang for the buck, they still do reproduce high frequencies. Soft dome. Soft dome tweeters are definitely my favorite. Very warm, very dynamic. Too soft. Downfall to a soft dome tweeter is often they don't play extremely loud. Some of them will not play really high frequencies very well, but definitely still my favorite. Metal tweeter. Generally metal tweeters are aluminum based. Some of them are aluminum magnesium. They're gonna play a little bit brighter, a little bit louder than a soft dome tweeter. A lot of them still have a lot of dynamics. Some are designed just for loud period. So if you pick up like a set of Focals, tend to be a little bit more dynamic than say a Rockford, which is designed for loud. Next on our list. Horn tweeter. Horn tweeters are our biggest price point difference. You can get a $10 horn tweeter. You can get a $1,000 horn tweeter. Horn tweeters were pretty popular in the 90s, mostly on the cheap side. Although companies like Image Dynamics actually had horn tweeters that you could put in your car. Downfall to that is they're hard to put in a car due to the size. Horn tweeters will take more power than a standard tweeter generally and they'll generally play considerably lower than a standard tweeter, but you usually need a lot of EQing to get it right. Horn tweeters are still used today, not very common for in a car, but in a boat. West Sounds uses horns in their tower speakers so they can project to the rider. Super Tweeter! Super Tweeter, what I always call the bullet tweeter due to its shape, is designed for extremely loud. If you want to blast your ears off in volume, Super tweeters are a great way to go. This particular set is out of a set of Rockford Pro Series speakers. If you look at the depth, they're quite deep. The diameter is larger, which can be a challenge to mount in any location. So if you're looking for straight up loud, they're a great way to go. Last on our list. Ring radiator. Ring radiator tweeters are not that common anymore. There are still some people who manufacture them. For instance, Rockford makes them for their T4 and T5 series speakers. Ring Raider tweeters are, in my opinion, very analytic tweeter, if you will, designed for precise reproduction of sound. Generally, Ring Raider tweeters will be larger diameter, which gives them a larger voice coil and gives them the ability to have a lighter cone. Plus, the addition of the phase plug allows them to be a very detailed tweeter with accurate production. Disadvantage, I don't think they're very warm. If you're looking to pick up every detail and nuance in a song, they're an amazing way to go. If you're looking for, your, for warmth in that music, I don't think they're that great. So to recap, paper cone tweeter, flat, very affordable. Plastic tweeter, yuck, affordable. Soft dome tweeters, once again, my favorite. Warm, natural, not always super loud, not to say some are not. Metal tweeters. Metal tweeters kind of run the gambit. They're going to be loud or pretty accurate. Horn tweeters, designed to project. If you want them to hear you coming a long ways away, horn tweeters are a great way to go. Super tweeters are straight volume. You want a ton of output and still be able to fit in your car, they're the best solution. Ring radiator tweeters are gonna be your very detailed ones. You wanna pick up every nuance in a song, they're the perfect solution. Don't expect a bunch of warmth. All right guys, thanks for watching. And as always, have a great day. Full out.